but it's a little wet up here today. Yeah. A little chilly and wet, a little damp. It took a few hours to get all the wiring done, but I'm not a few hours, but a little time. I had to pull wire up. I still have to still have to uh, tighten down the electric line to cable it. Got to foam the the pitch box and tar it yet. That's another day. Right now I'm trying to get the uh, unit charged, and then I'm going to go check the. Uh, Expansion valves, the TDs on all the expansion valves. There's three of them downstairs. Okay. Okay. My sight glass is full. That's good. That means I, I have a solid column of liquid to the expansion, all three expansion valves downstairs. I'm getting nice heat coming off the compressor. It's warming me up actually. And it's a little chilly up here on the roof today. It's kind of wet. And my suction pressure is 63. My evaporator is down to 25 already downstairs, which is good. It's hard. We're running around 20, 24 evaporator. And we're at 25, so that's a good sign. I have pressure on a cool day today. It's 257. I'm running 404A. And my suction pressure right now is 63. Now what I want to do is check the pressure control out and the solenoid valve and the time clock. So it's a time clock, it's a 24 hour dial. There's four defrosts in the 24 hours and the defrost lasts for 15 minutes each. So I'm going to turn this when this lines up with the pin. Okay, it just just clicked on the frost, and in a few seconds we'll see the. You can see the pressure's pumping down now. Go off. It just went off on its pressure control. It shut the contactor coil off. The contactor coils run through the pressure control. It goes from L1 through the coil, through the contactor, come out of the coil, through this um, pressure control, and to L2. So the, the, the pump down solenoid is working downstairs. And she's, hold, she's holding pretty good. Now I'll take it off to frost. And she kicked right in again. My pressure will... Refrigerant is coming back now. The solar valve downstairs, it just shuts the, the liquid line off. So no refrigerant gets past that point. And the compressor keeps sucking all the gas out of the evaporator coils and back into the compressor. And when I just opened it up again, this solenoid valve opened up and let liquid refrigerant run through all the evaporator coils and come back. And the pressure rose up and it kicked on. It's fundamental refrigeration. This works. I'm getting nice heat coming off the coil, which is a good sign. The, this heat is the heat that was in the cooler a couple of minutes ago. It's just cycling over here and blowing out. Now I'm going to go downstairs and adjust the... Um, Expansion valves. Okay, I'm checking the uh, TD on this, this expansion valve, and I've got 13. I just adjusted it, and that's good. 13, 14, 15 is good. That'll keep this box nice and warm and dry, uh, nice and dry. All the cardboard uh, uh, on the beer containers. It's hunting a little bit, but it's pretty steady. This is this one's pretty good. This was down at, at nine, and I just adjusted it clockwise a little bit, and I brought it up to 12, 13. Yeah. Now this one here, I have to adjust this. This one's at nine. fairly quickly. And it's stopped a little bit there. I'll give it a minute to react to that adjustment. 
Smith. Now this one here, it's way off. Minus two. This one's flooding. Way too much refrigerant through it. And this is the way it was hooked up for a few years. I don't even know if uh, it was ever adjusted when it was first put in. See, she's climbing out of a hole right now. So they go out of adjustment over time. These springs are constantly working in them. line leaving is 32. It's climbing pretty good. It's, it's a pain when you have a valve and you're trying to adjust it and it won't adjust. This one's uh, reacting fairly nicely to the adjustment. Put the clamps on nice and tight. I changed the heads on these to 404 from, they were 22. They put 404 heads on them, power assemblies. To this one. Let's go see what we're doing down here. We're at 13. I'm pretty happy with it. I'd leave it here. This one's at 10. I have to get my wrench, of course. up a little higher. a meat cooler where you, you want to see your breath and you find a lot of humidity in here. But we don't want humidity because it'll just make the cardboard all soggy and wet and the beer bottles will have condensation on them. So let's edge that up a bit. That's responding pretty quickly. I'm glad. Compressor down, two blue wires coming down here. The control circuit it goes from four through this temperature control over to the solenoid valve, shuts, de energizes the solenoid valve, and it, the, refrigerant, the refrigerant comes down and stops right here when the solenoid valve is de energized. And all the refrigerant beyond this point through the evaporators all the way back pumps back to the compressor. And you saw it pump down on the pressure gauges and it shut off. But the two wires coming to this, one is on four and the other one's on, uh, actually it was N, L1 and L2. Okay, now this one, this valve.
15, that'd be good, but you lose a little capacity then. Like, pushing it down a little bit below 15, 12, 13, 14, you get a little more capacity out of the system. You don't have such a wet environment. Give us a little, little nudge. Let's see what we get. Those are pretty good now. Yeah, it's working out. temperature uh, equipment. It works really good. You get a lot of uh, capacity out of it. And it's dense. It's dense. You can take out um, 
like 16 or 18 pounds of 22 and only put 14 pounds of, of 404 in it. So I'm, I'm pretty much I'm pretty happy with the 404. Now my evaporator's showing 12 degrees, kind of low uh, condenser. Superheat's 21. Subcooling's 13 and a half. My suction pressure. 46. Discharge pressure is 240. It's a cool day, so that's kind of good. And my T1 is 33. A little on the cool side, but it's okay. It's a cooler, so we're running a lower evaporator. My liquid line is 88. That's pretty, up, pretty close. I think it's something like 87. That's it guys, just so this is a wrap. I just gotta put the covers on it. A little wet and soggy one today. But oh we got that job done. We moved the cooler. Took the compressor off the roof. Moved it over here. Put it on the roof with the elevator. Put the box together, it was a difficult one. It was it originally started out six foot wide. We had to turn, convert it into uh, eight foot wide, and it originally was a L shape, but we converted it into a straight one. So I just adjusted the uh, expansion valves. One valve was, uh, the TD was minus, it was way off. It probably hadn't been adjusted in years. But uh, it's doing good. Okay, folks. I still love you still.